how can we face a collective trauma still using 9-11 as an example um, without falling into a rabbit hole of despair? Yeah, that's really tough. And you know, the thing, I was actually up on the World Trade Center in August of 2001. Oh my um, and it's like the first time I went as a, as a kid that could remember, right? And so I remember, and I have photos of me with like my cousin who was visiting and my parents. And it was particularly terrifying for me when I found out it happened because I had just been there like a few weeks before. Yeah. Um, and so the, th the thing about it is that it's really horrible what happened. No one is denying that. It's heartbreaking. It's really unimaginable and unbelievable. The way that people survived in some of those situations that are horrible like that is to heavily dissociate. Mm -hmm. um, but even by, by heavily dissociating, all you're really doing is suppressing and fragmenting the inf information, okay. right? And the stimuli, it's not really disappearing. And that actually leads to it continuing to stay within the collective and also within generations. So how do we continue to process and grief and grieve without falling back into full despair is trying to put meaning to something, right? I think as a whole, it's, it's, <laughs> you're we're laughing, back. but you know, the no, thing is like, we're back to Victor Frankl, my favorite. Yeah, it, we guess we are. <laughs> and it's right behind me. It's trying to put meaning to something. And that's not to say like, you're in a traumatic event. It's like, this must be happening because I'm gonna come out of this really good. It's like, mm -hmm. no, if you're in a traumatic event, you're in a traumatic event and it like, it sucks. And you can appreciate that it sucks and you can acknowledge that it sucks and be sad and shitty about it. But to heal from a trauma is to bring back meaning to what that crisis was and what you're going to grow from and rebuild that fabric in your life. And so coming back to this, this fact of like, we have created a public monument and a memorial, right? For what happened at 9-11. Mm -hmm. And we are using that as a way to continue to mourn and to grief in a healthy manner and to never forget what happened and to come out stronger from it. Obviously emotions will come out, feelings will come out and it's okay for that to happen. But again, that's part of that process of rebuilding those five themes of trauma and rebuilding your own foundational fabric is like being able to learn to acknowledge, appreciate, and tolerate the painful feelings that come up. Mm -hmm. And over time, they will not impact you as much in a negative way.